from the Ulti 360. I'm at the 2012 Forrester Customer Intelligence Forum. I'm sitting with Russ Mann from Covario. Hi, Russ. Hey, Mark. How's it going? Good. Can you tell me a little bit about Covario and your position within the company? Sure. I'm the CEO of Covario. We're a six-year-old company, venture-backed, and we are the leading SE independent SEM and SEO agency as well as the leading SEO SaaS software company in the country. Great. As we were talking, we were talking about some of the big challenge you're seeing for CMOs today. Can you tell us about some of the challenges for CMOs in today's marketing environment? Sure. Well, this conference has been great. Forrester puts on a great CMO, VP of marketing level conference. And uh, the, the word of the day is content. Everybody's been talking about content and content marketing and how companies and brands can reach out to consumers and engage them at any point of the life cycle, whether it's from acquisition to retention, cross-selling, upselling, and referral, as well as ongoing loyalty. And, and the word of the day content has been how do we promote content to the consumers in the right context to keep that conversation uh, going. And so, of course, what Cavario does in SEM and SEO, uh, we're in the business of the words and the phrases that consumers are using all around the world at their point of intent to engage with brands. And so SEO we see evolving into content marketing as a fundamental tool in a content marketer's, a CMO's tool belt. CMO may, instead of becoming chief marketing officer, may become the content marketing optimization officer of the future. Great. Loyalty management believes that this is probably the best time to be a CMO, but also the most challenging time. What are your takes on those positions, and what advice, one, two pieces of advice, would you give to uh, a CMO in today's environment? Sure. Well, uh, that, that, that phrase was used uh, on the Forrester stage yesterday where they said it's, it's the, one of the best times, one of the most challenging times to be a CM, CMO. It's one of the best times because there's more opportunities to engage with the always the always on consumer wherever they are, the always on customer, whether it's through their mobile phone while they're on the go, whether it's on their tablet while they're uh, sitting in front of the TV, or maybe also on the go in a boardroom uh, or, in a, or in a shop, or whether it's through their PC, uh, their Ultrabook when they're in their home office or at work, or whether it's through new always connected devices, there's more ways to reach a consumer and business customers with new types of content than ever before. So that's a great opportunity. It's also a great challenge because there's also more publishers and more tools than ever before. So the, the challenge of a CMO these days is to select the right tools and the right publishers for the right type of dialogue you want to have for your customers wherever they are in the loyalty life cycle. Great. And engagement and perception is everything. And loyalty is the culmination of a series of effective engagements and those experiences. How do brands effectively engage individuals in this very diverse and data-rich ecosphere? Sure, well, uh, one of the things, the brands need to focus on the different personas they're trying to attract or keep and uh, in engage through the loyalty conversations. And instead of trying to use any particular tip or tactic or trick, it's really about understanding the persona and the dialogue and the, and the overall campaign uh, that you want to be engaging with the consumers uh, and using the appropriate tools and publishers uh, to, to engage in that type of campaign or dialogue. So of course, we'll, we'll always say that SEO and social, which are really the fundamentals of content marketing, they're going to be useful at every stage of the dialogue, whether it's acquisition or retention. And, but, they're, but even within SEO and social and content marketing, there are certainly different tactics one would, one would want to use depending whether you're trying to reach a mobile consumer on the go or a B2B customer who may be uh, doing research or maybe considering um, new products from, from a particular brand or service provider while they're in their office, for example. So again, it's really about providing the right type of content and the right type of context through the right type of conversation. Great. Loyalty management believes that loyalty is the most important facet of any marketer's uh, uh, job. Mm -hmm. Traditionally, marketers have been focused on CPMs and acquisition strategies that may or may not have brought the most effective uh, client or prospect into the pipeline. How do you address that using SEO and SEO, SEO and SEM in today's environment? Sure. Well, obviously, SEO and SEM have always been thought of as bottom of the funnel 
type of, uh, and m maybe more CPC and CPA type uh, mechanisms. But we all know uh, now that, that search is fundamental. SEO, SEM, and social are starting to overlap even more, and they're fundamental to any research or engagement process, even for f customers that you may have that are considering alternative products or adjacent products and are, are looking at new ways, uh, lo again, looking for content or information. So uh, any brand, as I was just mentioning, needs to understand who they're trying to engage, what types of personas are, are really the best type of lo long-term or lifetime value client. And by doing that, uh, one can figure out the types of phrases or conversations or content that, that, that you need to create and promote in order to engage the types of customers, whether it's demographics, psychographics, et cetera, that will provide the, the longest or the greatest lifetime value and not just the, uh, the most or the cheapest immediate cost per acquisition. Because a one-time acquisition is one thing, but a lifetime value uh, and loyalty is a completely different different um, kind of uh, ROI metric that we're seeing more and more companies think about. Great. One of the challenges we hear a lot about at Low360 is a dichotomy between a traditional push-based marketer CMO mm -hmm. and a more pull or voice of the customer-based uh, CMO. What advice do you give today's CMO to kind of help facilitate or ease that tradition or transition from push to pull and making the strategies more effective and engaging? Sure, well we're seeing that happening naturally as, as again the, the publisher or the content distribution uh, mechanisms are evolving. The old style of, uh, the old opportunities to publish a message out, whether it be TV or print or radio, were generally one way mass marketing types of uh, channels. Whereas now, as we all know, we have two way uh, micro targeting, whether it's uh, one, to, one to one or one to, one to a niche types of opportunities and, and CMOs are embracing that opportunity. So um, you're able to create the right type of content once again uh, and then uh, target the right types of individuals and, and engage in a dialogue which becomes more of a, a pull or a, a back and forth rather than just a push out. And so as, as I, uh, opportunities like Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, Reddit, StumbleUpon, and others evolve, I think we're seeing CMOs naturally migrate to those types of opportunities for lifetime value uh, conversations and engagement and not just push-based push marketing activities. Great, we believe that experience drives engagement and engagement drives loyalty. Yet at every part of the channel, people have to feel engaged. What are the challenges you see with multi-channel communications for today's marketers, and how does your product help alleviate some of these concerns? Yeah, well once again, obviously there's multiple devices, whether it's a smartphone, a tablet, a TV, PC, Ultrabook, and, uh, and there's ever evolving. A GPS system is now an engagement opportunity, for example, in your car. So as those, uh, as those different devices evolve, the, and the, the publishers evolve, as I was mentioning, you know, Facebook, now Pinterest, uh, Instagram obviously is the new hot thing with, with images and opportunities there. Uh, what we're seeing is that throughout the life cycle, uh, the, 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 the challenge is to uh, create the right types of content that will create pull and engagement through the life cycle. Uh, for, for Cavario, as the leader in SEM and SEO and now social and content marketing, our tools and our services help marketers understand um, their brand or brands through the life cycle and to both uh, measure, monitor, and automate the, the entire SEO and SEM and social engagement cycle for, for lifetime value and long-term loyalty. Great. Russ, thank you very much for taking the time to meet with us today. Great. Thanks a lot.